I cloned myself into an AI influencer in less than one minute using a brand new tool from Google called Nano Banana. You've seen other image editors. Most of them are terrible at creating images of you. They make you look like a weird, distorted cousin and not a perfect clone. But Google's new Nano Banana AI finally solves this. The images you're seeing right now were all generated from a single photo of me and the consistency is absolutely insane. So today I'm sharing what I've learned about Nano Banana. First, I'll show you how to upload your photo to get a perfect consistent character. Then we'll change outfits and backgrounds while keeping you, you. Finally, I'll show you the mind blowing part, how to generate an image of what you look like from the back, just like in these images here. This changes everything. Let's dive in. Okay, so let me show you this on screen now. The tool is officially called Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, which you can see written up here, but everyone knows it as Nano Banana. It's completely free to use right inside Gemini, what you're seeing on screen. Uh, and I've put a link to Gemini in the description to this video so that you can try it out yourself. Okay, so this first step is the most important. You need to give the AI a high quality photo of yourself by selecting upload files here. I'm going to use this photo right here of me. You can see that's been added. And now we just need to make sure we're in Nano Banana by pressing create images here. And next we need to establish our character. We'll try something simple, but powerful. So I'll just type in here. I'm going to ask Nano Banana to put me in a pink ballet outfit. We just need to press submit now once that's typed in. And this just takes a few seconds to complete. It actually blew my mind how quick it is. And we'll see the generated image in just a second. Here we go. If we scroll down, <laughs> there I am in my pink ballet outfit. You can see my face is identical to the original photo here. It's added tons of detail into the ballet suit that it's put me in. This is crazy. But here's a problem I encountered. When I first started using Nano Banana and I tried to put myself into different locations, it would sometimes change the way my face looked. And sometimes the model would stop looking like me, which was frustrating. So I discovered a key phrase that makes all the difference. You need to tell Nano Banana to preserve your identity. So watch, let's try a more complex edit. We're going to ask it to change the background to a ballet school, put on reflective glasses, and most importantly, we're telling the AI to preserve the person's identity. Press submit. And after a few seconds, look at this, we've got me in a completely different location. This blew my mind. I'm wearing shades. And if I click to enlarge this, my shades actually reflecting the location that Nano Bananas put me in. Absolutely crazy. And it's kept my face looking exactly the same. All because we use that phrase to preserve my identity. Another trick I've learned so far inside Nano Banana is about lighting and style. The AI is amazing at understanding context to give us more realistic images. I'm going to upload the image that you're seeing on screen now into Google Gemini. And I'm going to tell Gemini to add me into the photo of the empty ballet stage I've just uploaded. But I want Nano Banana to match the lighting and film grain from that photo onto me so that it looks more realistic, all while preserving my identity. And also just to mix things up and test the power as Nano Banana, let's get me into a ballet pose. And we're just going to press submit now to get that image. All right, and let's take a look at this. <laughs> Check this out. Let's click it to make it bigger. This kind of task would have taken a Photoshop expert hours, but look at this result. It's insane. It's me in a pose wearing sunglasses. I've got the same lighting as the original photo. There's a reflection of me on the stage here. Nano Bananas added shadows to make me look like I was actually in the room that the photo was taken in. This isn't just editing, it's context aware creation. <sighs> Okay, and now for the part I promised, what if you need a different angle? This is where most other models fail, but through testing out Nano Banana, I found out it can do it easily. Check this out. I'm just going to type in now to show me the back of this person, preserving the hair and body shape, press enter, and there it is. That's genuinely what the back of my head looks like. 
It's maintained the character, but from a completely new perspective. This is a game changer for generating images for any project that needs multiple angles. The best part about this is that Nano Banana is available for free inside Google Gemini now. I've spent so much money on editing tools in the past to do this stuff, whereas now you can just do it for free. Crazy. And now you can create consistent characters again and again and place them in any location you want using Nano Banana. But what if you want to bring those images of yourself to life? What if you want to make them animated videos? Here's the best step-by-step -step way I found in the past of turning a image into a video. So make sure to watch that video next if you're interested in doing that. It's really useful. I'd check it out. And subscribe to the channel for more tips like this. See you later.